What's going on YouTube? My name is Adam. If you've never tuned in my channel before, my wife Christina and I have been living up in the beautiful state of Alaska. I was a pilot up there. My wife is a flight attendant. And we had this crazy dream of living in Mexico. And we moved down to Mexico a few months ago and I'm loving every single minute of it. I think Christina misses Alaska a little bit. I'm now an airline pilot, no longer flying cargo, and I'm living in Mexico, so I'm going to be doing lots of videos on that. If that's something that interests you, as a commuting pilot from Mexico, how it's working out for me, it's tough. This video is about how to find the autobus in Terminal 2. Uh, I guess it's probably eight or nine months ago, I did a video on how to take the bus from Terminal 1 to Cadetro. It's a big question that I get. So um, this video is going to show you how to take it from Terminal 2. It's a really short video. Um, at the end, I'm going to show you if you were to be coming back from Cadetro of how to get to Terminal 2 because that's kind of confusing and they don't even, even in Spanish, they don't really make that announcement. So please watch the video to the end. You'll see how to get back to the airport from Querétaro. And if maybe you're just wanting to go from Querétaro to the airport and you can fast forward to that part if you want, but it's a super short video. I'm just going to kind of narrate it and walk you through. It's so easy. I take the bus pretty well most weeks. If I don't fly to Querétaro, I take the bus down. Um, it's so easy. I'm going to put the, I take the Permitter Plus if I'm going to go direct to Querétaro and I'll put their link in the description. They're a really good bus system. Lately, I've been going to the Mexico Norte station and taking ETN back and forth. That's a little bit more difficult. I will do a video on that if that's something that interests you, but that's not what this video is about. So it's the safest, easiest way to go to Cadetaro. It don't matter how much bags you have, you can literally take and check them. It's free to check bags. You can have 17 bags if you want. They don't charge you per bag. It's so easy. I, get, I see a lot of people in expat groups are like, hey, how do I get to Mexico City Airport? to Querétaro. We need to hire a driver because we have a lot of bags. We have a lot of people. Well, that's even more the reason to use the bus, in my opinion. It's so easy. You just wheel your, your bags up to the counter, check it in. It's so easy. So I'll do a quick video, narrate how to get to it because there's not a lot of signage, even in English or Spanish, that shows that. This video will make a lot of sense. You know what they say, a, a, a picture's worth a thousand words. So please watch it to the end. I'll show you exactly what to do when you come back as well. And I hope you enjoy the video. Please give me a thumbs up, subscribe. I've been off YouTube for a few months doing some crazy intense airline training, but I'm just about to start doing videos every Thursday. Um, and I hope this video helps you. Thank you so much. And, and please leave the comments. Let me know any questions you may have so I can answer it. Guess what? If you have that question, someone else probably does as well. And I'm doing this every week, so I pretty well know the ins and outs. All right, thank you so much. And let's go, let's go show you how to get to the uh, Autobus. So this is the area that you see people waiting on international arrivals. As you come out, literally just hang a right, right out of this little uh, area that you come out of, no matter where you come out, you'll hang a right. You're gonna be at the bottom floor of the air, of the uh, actual airport in Mexico City, and just walk straight as far as you can walk. You see at the very, very end there, you can see like a doorway, that's exactly where I'm walking towards. And as you get towards the end, you're gonna see this vehicle in the glass container, just keep walking towards that area. Um, the goat, you're gonna end up just going out that door, but it's a great reference point. I use it coming back in to kind of show you as well. It's the first thing you see in Terminal 2. But you'll walk right out, you'll walk right past this wings place. You're gonna hang it right down the ramp outside the door there. And into the left will be the lobby of the bus station. That's where all the bus bus uh, companies are. You're gonna look for Permitter Plus, tell them you want a ticket to Cadetro. They leave about every 30 minutes. It's about four, between four and 500 pesos. Uh, I buy mine on the app, so it fluctuates. I think it's 485 if you buy it at the ticket counter. And there's the lobby. So as you can see, it's super easy to find. Just come out, hang your right, go all the way to the end. I showed you a clear video. It's so easy to find. So now let's talk about coming back from Cadetha Road to Terminal 2. This is where it could get kind of confusing. So just to kind of give you a quick update. So there is no connection between 1 and 2 in Mexico City Airport. There's a train that runs from like 5 a.m. to 11 p.m. at some hours like that. Like I just had to do this yesterday and I just ended up taking out Uber. Uh, you have to show your ticket to set in the other, so it's kind of a pain. So if you got off at the wrong station, it literally could delay you like an hour. I mean, it's it's a big deal. So you want to make sure you're getting off at the right terminal. Um, so if you're looking for Terminal 2, which would be if you're flying out of Air Mexico or Delta, then as you take the bus, you're going to come in. The first the first station you're going to come to is going to be Terminal 1 from Querétaro, and you don't want to get off there. You want to stay, and they're not going to say, hey, just stay on board if you're going to. They're not going to say anything. They're just going to say, all right, you know, aeroporto. That's about all they're going to say. The lights will come on. People, a lot more, more people probably get off at Terminal 1 than ter 2 because there's more airlines that go out of there. It's a lot busier of a terminal, I would say. And you're going to see, like, literally, like, 85, 90% of the bus get off. And you're going to start thinking, oh, crap, I should get off here. And that'd be, like, the worst thing you could do. So I'm going to show you just a quick sna snapshot of you know, what it looks like. You're going to pull up, you're going to be underground, and then I'll show up a snapshot of what it looks like when you're coming back into actual Terminal 2. So, it, just to repeat myself, if you're coming from Querétaro, stay on the bus. You're going to stop at Terminal 1 first, 
and then you're gonna get on the Terminal 2 uh, second. Uh, when you check your bag and cadet throw, make sure to tell them, hey, I'm going to Terminal 2. All right, so let me uh, let me show you what I'm talking about so it makes sense. Come into the Cadet Row bus station. Go all the way to the far right. You'll show your ticket. You'll come down. You'll see these Premier Plus buses. Right there is the ticket counter to uh, check your bags. You actually check there. And then you'll go through security uh, when you walk outside to go to the airport. It's super quick. And then you get on your bus. It's super roomy. Uh, here's just a little quick snapshot of what it looks like. And it's super easy. No tr No drama. So this is coming into Terminal 1, your very first stop. Stay on the bus. I repeat, stay on the bus. But this is what it'll look like. You'll be underground, kind of like in a little garage-type setting. You'll see the stairway there to the left. This is where the bus will stop. 85% of people will get off. You want to stay on the bus. And then it'll continue to Terminal 2. As it continues on, I'd say it takes between 5 and 8 or 9 minutes. Normally, the time on your bus ticket is super accurate. Uh, I don't know how in the world they nail it so perfect. It's almost like they're Germans. Uh, the German train system used to be that way. Now it's horrible. It used to be good. Anyway, you'll just basically parallel the, the runway, tra taxiway here, so you'll know you're still in the right area, uh, just staying on. And it's kind of a pretty ride over. Uh, you get over, and you cannot miss Terminal 2. It's so easy to find. So as you're coming in, you'll actually see the big uh, sign of Terminal 2. And there it is, beautiful Terminal 2. Now you know you're in the right place. Uh, it'll take you right in. You literally, once you pull in, you're gonna just get off the bus, go to your right, that's where your luggage will be. And they will actually hook you up with your luggage and you're on your way. the bus you're literally just going to come up the ramp you're going to walk right back into the airport there's that car that we showed of how to find the bus station personally i normally take a right right here you can go straight and there's some escalators you can do either or i don't know why it seems quicker to get the uh actual elevator but right here some screens the first 12 times i went there i was thinking huh where's my flight well that's only for arrivals it has nothing to do with leaving but you'll walk you'll see that big screen you'll literally walk right next to it into the elevator up to the top of the ticket counter So easy. So um, get at the road to the airport is easy. Uh, when you're checking in, you just want to, you know, tell them terminal one, terminal two. It's so easy. They take you right to either one. I just showed you how to get to terminal two. Um, coming back so easy. Getting on the bus to go to Cadet Row so easy. So I do it every week. If you have any questions, my email address is bigskyblessing at gmail.com or put your questions in the comments. I promise I will reply. Thank you for watching. How about give me a thumbs up, help that whole Aggie Rhythm thing. I plan on doing lots of videos, lots of tips in Mexico, of how to live in Mexico, what's it like living in Mexico, um, and anything you want. So there's a lot of things, there's a lot of videos I plan on doing. The Mexico City Airport's super chaotic and crazy, but I've learned it's chaos and I've loved it. It's actually my favorite airport in Mexico. I never thought I'd ever say that, I used to hate it. Uh, I just think it's the easiest airport in the world once I learn their, their chaos. So I'm going to do a lot of videos explaining where to catch Uber, where to do this, where to do that, tips around Mexico City. And I'm going to bring all that to you. So if you want to hear all that, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. We thank you so much. Until next time, hasta luego.